as we have said many times on this channel one of the biggest problems is that the presidency seems to be an expert at everything and the latest is that William Samoy Ruto has come out and said that the predicted El Nino rains heavy downpour in the country called Kenya will not happen after all and instead we're going to get the usual short rains of October, November, December that the country usually receives and that this rain will help farmers to harvest yeah, so that we have a bumper harvest so that early next year the country has food and hopefully food prices come down etc etc now nothing wrong with that statement except it contradicts what experts are telling us <laughs> and not only does it contradict local experts what Ruto is saying is also contradicting international scientists and experts and not only that it is also contradicting what some spiritual leaders have predicted very clearly for the nation called Kenya and finally it also contradicts what is already unfolding in parts of the country called Kenya for instance Garissa is receiving rain currently as we speak that is way above normal in my opinion we have a problem here apart from our many many other problems we have a very huge problem here when the presidency decides to be an expert at everything it goes without saying that the leader of a country should always measure their words very carefully indeed they should always hesitate before they say anything let alone issue such controversial remarks because what will happen if it is clearly proven to the people that Ruto is wrong and indeed the El Nino rains pour on the nation called Kenya what will happen what will happen to the preparedness of the nation to face possible tragedy what will happen and indeed what the experts are saying because they have adjusted their predictions slightly in recent days they are saying that this El Nino rains and floods will extend to February 2024 now what that means is that there's still plenty of time for this El Nino to actually happen okay and therefore the remarks of Ruto were at best very risky extremely risky and for what you know there are some people who believe that what triggered these remarks from Ruto was the usual pettiness because what happened is that in his remarks recently Raila Odinga said that Ruto was actually involved in the demolition of the Mavoko houses yeah the order came from state house direct Raila told us and he added these demolitions would not have come at a worse time because the country is expecting the El Nino rains that's what Raila said and therefore there are those observers who believe Ruto's statement on the El Nino rains is a reaction to what Raila said <laughs> now if that is true that is very petty that is very emotional because it would suggest that since Raila said it Ruto felt he had to say something contrary to what Raila said and I'm afraid we have already seen quite a lot of that yeah petty responses but from a head of state hey. you know I recently listened to some remarks from an activist called Benjindolo and I was captivated by a lot of what he said 
Now, one of the things he said, very sensible things he said, is that when you're president, you should not be petty. Yeah, You should not start thinking of who opposed you, who said what about you. You are the president. And therefore, you should get down to work. And forget all those petty, petty revenge attacks and revenge moves. Because they'll not help Kenya. Now, one of the reasons why I found those remarks very interesting is because Benji Ndolo was a firm UDA supporter. He supported Ruto for the presidency to the hilt. Yeah. But now, he has made a complete about turn. A 180 degree turn. Yeah. On his previous position. And that should tell us a lot. Don't you think? Anyway, any politician who is preoccupied with reacting, reacting to what the other side is saying, reacting to what people he does not like are saying, <laughs> that is a politician people should worry about. But when it is the head of state, eh, it is much worse. Wouldn't you agree? Anyway, let us wait and see whether these floods, this El Nino prediction, will come to pass. Or whether Ruto is right and that nothing will happen. Let us wait and see. Shall we? Briefly, please allow me to give you a heads up on changes on our YouTube channel. Now, the Kumekucha Chris channel has been on YouTube for slightly over 10 years now. That's right. And during this time, our coverage has evolved. It has changed with the times. I've always been very determined to deliver to you, my dear subscribers, only analysis that can stand the test of time. Now, during those 10 years, I've learned a lot yeah, about this forum. For instance, YouTube is not a TV channel. It is not even like a cable TV channel. No, it's something very different. And I've learned my lessons over the years. Now, what has been disturbing me most in recent times is that currently in Kenya, there is way too much happening. And this has been disturbing me. Because I've always felt that I'm falling short of the analysis that I deliver to you. I'm falling short of the coverage that I'm able to deliver. And therefore, I'd like to announce my efforts from today to try my best to expand this coverage as much as possible. To touch on all very key, important developments in our country. More so at this time. When alternative sources on this forum are going for headlines and views. Yeah, the emphasis is on views and the emphasis is on giving you clickbait headlines with very little content to go with it. And sometimes the content is not even reliable information. And yet our dear motherland is passing a period in its history. <laughs> that is most significant. And therefore I'm pledging today to try my very best to widen the coverage as much as possible, even with the challenges that this channel faces every day. Yeah, some of them are unique to us because of what we are about. Okay, I know some of you may not understand what I'm saying. Some of you may not believe. But I'm also certain that many of you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Therefore, starting from today, you can expect more videos as much as possible. And if I still fall short, at least you can be sure, I will always try my very best. And all I need from you is your continued support. Thank you so much, even for the great support you have given to me and this channel over the last 10 years all for a better Kenya 
and coverage only coverage that will stand the test of time kindly rush and get my latest sizzler of a book the ruto kenyans will never know available for only $24.55 or kenya shillings 2455 you can see all the payment details on your screens right now i highly recommend it because you'll also be able to understand why ruto reacted the way he did concerning this el nino manenos until next time this is Chris Komekocha.